Hey there guys, um, what's up? Ryan here from Melee. Um, if you haven't seen one of our most recent videos, we just installed an ATX20 anti-gravity battery here in the car. And it has a jump start available on the battery itself, but if for whatever reason this battery dies, you can't use normal jumping procedures to get this battery back to life. It's incredibly important you do not use a normal jumping battery or using another car to jump this battery, you're gonna hurt it. What you need to use is one of these. This right here is an approved C-Tech lithium battery tender. Um, this is basically what you're gonna wanna use if you ever have questions about this thing's health. So today I'm gonna be wiring it up to the battery and showing you the two options that there are um, in terms of how to use this, as well as proper usage of it because there's a couple things that it says in the instruction book that you know I should probably know a bit about. So let's show you what's the deal with this guy. So first things first, um, it comes with the charger itself. It has a spot over here to plug into a wall. It says not to use extension cables if you can avoid it. There's the charger itself and then this uh, positive and negative um, end that comes up the back and a little connector. This connector is what connects to one of two options at this point. You have either your standard uh, alligator style clamps that you can then just put on your terminals and rock it the same way you would a normal battery charger. Or you can wire up these tiny little uh, connects that then just use the standard hardware that's already on your terminals and you can kind of just like bolt these down and uh, plug it in just like you would those alligator clips. So whichever one you'd prefer. This one's probably a little easier but stays in the car whereas the alligator clamps obviously come out and you don't have to worry about these like rattling around your engine bay so and then finally you get a awesome carrying case to go in it in case you ever need to bring this somewhere or just want to have it in the, your car um, it also has instructions on the back in case you've forgotten how to use it and a booklet that i highly highly suggest you read because this is an expensive battery you definitely don't want to mess it up All right, so to get this process started, I want to remove the terminals from the battery so that there's no risk of me electrocuting myself at all. I'm going to start over here with the positive terminal. Now that I have those installed onto the battery, I'm going to plug these together and take off the little dust cap and connect them. They do only go one way and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you push down on the little lock mechanism right there. So it's not coming apart now. So now we have our battery connected to the SeaTech charger. We're ready to plug the SeaTech charger directly into the wall. Don't use an extension cable, it says so, right in the instructions that I read. So, plug, wall. And you can now see status lights on the device about what your battery's doing. Now this device is supposed to be pretty plug and play. And if you look in your user's manual, it'll tell you exactly what all of these symbols mean. But when it comes down to the battery itself, basically just plug it in, let it charge up, and you'll be good to go. Now this battery is gonna continue charging over the next couple hours, and it will charge just like a normal battery as well when you drive it, and the alternator will give a charge to the battery. It's gonna sit in its current stage until it reaches about 95%, and then it's gonna kind of adjust until it reaches 95, and then 100, and then it's gonna kind of just keep it near 100 as long as it's plugged in. This is a great way to extend the life of your lithium battery, and again, you can't use traditional battery charging or battery jumping techniques with a lithium battery. So that's part of the reason why we got the restart kit because there's a built-in jumper right on the battery, but not everything has that. So having something like the SeaTech charger is an amazing thing to do to keep your battery happy. We have them available on our website. There'll be a link in the description below if you guys want to find a link to the battery, the mount, or the SeaTech charger that we're using right here. 
So thank you guys for checking out the video. If you have any questions, let us know. We're here to help you at any point of the, the battery stages of your vehicle. And I mean, or you can just chat with us. I, I don't know. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you later. Oh,